Hi, good morning to everyone. Uh, it's a very special day today, and not because it's raining, but because it's Christmas Day. And uh, we are traveling from Grand Bay, that's in the north of Mauritius, towards Blue Bay. We are going to spend our day with some friends. But the decision was, when we left Grand Bay, is which road to take. Now, there are two roads. The one is the Autostrada, the main highway, from Grand Bay down to Blue Bay to the airport. That's the easy way, and that's the fastest way. But then, Gerdes has this wonderful idea, and... Uh, we had some friends with us in the car, and uh, they've traveled the highway many times, but not the smaller roads. So, Gerdes, what was your suggestion? Yeah, I said that uh, let's travel the, the road over Flock, uh, down to Grand River Southeast, and then down to Marburg in the east of the island. But on the way, we got sidetracked, and we landed up at... St. Julian de Hotman, and specifically at the cathedral, because that is one of our most, our favorite spots in Mauritius. Is there a word like favorite? <laughs> but anyway, we landed up at the cathedral, and our friends just loved it, but we had limited time to spend there, and so we just hopped in and hopped out, and had a look at the cathedral, and after that, uh, I decided not to go towards Flock, but to pass through this scenic road all the way down to Bell Rose. Or uh, what did you to say? Bell Air. Bell Air. Yeah, but, but we passed Bell Rose towards Bell Air. But um, what is so scenic about the road is uh, the countryside. It's beautiful. It is sugarcane uh, on the road, on the side of the road, and the sugarcane fields are beautiful. They're all green and lush. And then the uh, lane of trees. There are many, many of them. Uh, huge, huge trees, old trees, like oak trees, and I don't even know the name of the trees, but they are so majestic and beautiful and they are on either side of the road and it's like a canopy. You drive in this tunnel of trees. What do you think about the trees? Yeah, we love the trees. But that's in a previous video uh, which I speeded I up because um, I wanted to make the video a bit shorter. But then after some comments from friends that it goes too fast, I've decided not to speed up this video. So, yeah, it's uh, interesting to see the countryside in uh, real speed. And what, what you notice now is that Mauritians park anywhere on the road. And so sometimes the road um, is so um, congested that uh, you have to wait for oncoming traffic before you can pass the cars that are parked on the side of the road. And so we are now turning left towards Clemencia and um, that will take us um, another 14 or 10 minutes in this video to get to our destination so bear with us as we drive this road and enjoy the scenery yes the roads the roads are quite good and I think that the, that the reason why it takes so long to to drive from the north to the south when you take the smaller roads is because it's quite um, narrow and very windy um, windy windy sorry mm. windy and a lot of traffic especially you know on uh, no, in the week when the businesses are all open then then it's it takes some time 
And there's the speed limit is 60, 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I think mostly. it's only 60 mostly. And yeah. what makes these roads very treacherous is that um, there's no verge on the side of the road. So if you go off the road, you will damage your car. So you've got to be careful of all the obstacles in the road, like uh, animals, well, yeah, I'm talking about goats and cows that might be on the road, or dogs. Uh, in this part of the island, I haven't really seen any cows. Yeah, and, and not so many dogs. No, we As haven't seen that north. many dogs. As in the north, no. No, exactly. I think, I think the dogs are reliant on humans to a certain extent. Uh, where humans feed them, you will find a congregation of a lot of dogs. Uh, what we notice here is that the sugar cane has been cut, but they're already growing. Uh, so uh, visibility is a bit limited on the side of the road, and in some areas they are shorter. But at least we can see the mountains on the side, um, and the mountains are beautiful. Mauritius is so, uh, can I say, popular with the mountains. You know, there's so many... Uh, famous mountains mm. in Mauritius and the one in the south that's famous is the one that looks like a cat it is Le Chau is that that's, right? that's, a, that's a good um, pronunciation there Anneli, <laughs> you're getting there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes it looks like a cat you know, yeah. sit, uh, lying on his paws with his head, mm. head up mm. um, so yeah, so we 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 see a lot of water on the side of the road. Oh. There's, there was a tremendous amount of rain over these uh, past few days, and uh, this area is very well known for agriculture. Uh, pineapples are grown here, and uh, sugar cane, and also vegetables. And as you can see on the side of the road, also bananas. A lot of banana cultivation. Um, we're almost halfway there's, now. There's a uh, uh, papaya. Oh, there's papayas. Yeah, a lot of oh, papayas. we love the papayas. We always try and see if we can get any papayas, um, and but they're always too high to to pluck down with, by hand. Um, you need some sort of a extending pole with a grapple hook on the end uh, to grab them. And um, I think we need to devise something like that. We'll make a lot of money. Yeah. You can see we just passed a beautiful flamboyant tree mm. on the right. Mm. The flamboyant is so beautiful with the red flowers. Mm. The other day I actually looked closely at the flamboyant flower and the little bloom has four red petals and one bigger one, a red one, a longer one, with yellow stripes in it. Don't you think it's yellow with red stripes in it? I don't know. Maybe we must look closer mm. and see. I think it's yellow with red stripes in it. Is it? Okay. Mm. But and anyway. the flamboyant just, it just flowers this time of the year and it's also called the bonus tree because this is the time when uh, all Mauritians get a 13th check and as soon as they've spent all that money then the blooms are of the trees. Yeah, and also the wind. The wind uh, blows them off and rain, you know. So sometimes when you pass a tree, it's like a red carpet underneath the tree. And if you park your car under a tree and the wind is blowing or it's, there's a drizzle, <laughs> your car is covered with, with these petals. This blooms, this flowers. Yeah, yeah. I, in fact, yesterday when I washed the car, I opened the bonnet and uh, there were so many leaves and trees, uh, grasses and things. Actually, more, you know, as you say, the flamboyant flowers um, that were blocking the airways uh, coming into the car. And yes. uh, so I had to clean all of it out. Um, I, I didn't do a 100% job, but I, I cleaned most of it. Yeah, we're driving now to towards uh, the east, southeast. Uh, we used to live there for a couple of months, and 
so we we came accustomed to the people and their habits and to the shopping areas. It's very rural, um, as you can see. It's uh, and the villages are small. Yeah, the small villages that you drive through. It's very authentic, Mauritius. Uh, I I love it. Yeah, it's not a lot of Europeans staying there. It's more Mauritians, and that was a very interesting. So, time so where in do our the life. Europeans stay, Anneli? Um, near our house. Um, there's two uh, resorts. The one is Anahita. Oh yes. And. On the left of the house and on the right of her house, just about a kilometre away, uh, is um, Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach, yes. Laguna Beach. So mm. I remember in the past when uh, we were really missing home because we are new on the island, we were new and we were missing the family and friends. Then we went to Laguna Beach and we just had a beer there watching the mountain, watching the people, swimming in the pool. That was quite fun, wasn't it? That was fun. Um, so it was like a very authentic introduction to the island. But uh, after a couple of months, uh, we decided to move closer to your brother. And uh, so we gave up the rent on that house and we moved to the north of Mauritius to Grand Bay. In fact, it, we stayed at Trubish at first. Yes, Trubish. We stayed there for mm. over two years. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was wonderful with my brother and sister-in-law living on the island as well. We had so much fun. We played Canesta and we swam together, bride together. And, yeah, it was so, so nice to to have them close to us. Mm. But then after a time, um, uh, they went to Uruguay for two and a half years. Mm. And uh, yeah, and we stayed in Mauritius for two and a half years. And then we moved from Trubish up to the north. That was during COVID, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. So anyway, we um, are just rambling on on this Christmas day. And uh, we're looking forward to have a lovely lunch down in Blue Bay. And one of my other videos is covering the trip down. The, it's called an epic, an epic journey or an epic um, road trip down the east of the island. Uh, you can watch that one. I will try and make a link uh, so that you can see that one. Uh, if I fail then uh, just look it up and you will also enjoy that video. Uh, so this is now uh, Bel Air and this is where we used to come and do our shopping. Yeah, we'll keep on producing more of these uh, Mauritius videos for you. And we hope you have enjoyed this specific video and that you will watch our other videos also, that you will subscribe to this channel and watch our other videos also. We treasure you and uh, we wish you the best for the coming year. Yes, and then that's goodbye from us and be blessed. And we talk again. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.